Well, hello. Good morning. It is Saturday. It's um, sometime after 8 a.m., I'm guessing, because I really don't know what time it is. We only have one clock in the living room, so I don't know oh, what time it is unless it's on my phone. Anywho, I'm hungry. I'm going to make some oatmeal for breakfast and some tea. Um, debating if I want to run to the store, but most likely it ain't going to happen because I don't want to go anywhere. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I will do it. Um, doing some cleaning today. I'm going to put most of the decorations away. The ones that I cannot get to will either be done tomorrow or next weekend. So, yeah, we'll see how this pans out today. So, um, as you guys know, I already uploaded my vlogs from the 24th, the 27th, and the 28th. Yep, out of order, don't care. I already explained it in the video if you watched it. Anywho, it's Saturday. Let's get this party started. Had a set of pots and pans. I'll show you. So, this is how bad we are. So, I bought these during um, Labor Day. That's September, right? Labor Day. I bought this set. So, it came with this, this, all of these right here. The silver ones. The silver stuff in September. Never busted them open. I mean, I don't know. I just, I'm not really an appliance person. So, bought those because they were on dirt cheap sale on macy's.com and then here my mother-in-law got me this for christmas and this set which is somewhat similar there's one more pot it's just already been washed i used it last night to make my noodles in this pan and then it comes with more of whatever these things are called um so yeah it's time to like go through our stuff and actually throw out all our old stuff that we've been having since like 2012 or 2013 you know like that the tree is gone the decorations are off the table um just i swipe a little bit and i'm planning to not have that same tree skirt that's my washer making so much noise i don't want that tree skirt because there's still so much glitter from it so next well this year coming up i'm gonna get a new one i'm sure they got sales still at a lot of stores so i'll probably look next weekend and get a new tree skirt if there's any out there you know that i like so we'll see but yeah took everything down the only thing that is up is still the lights which of course i can't do that definitely will have to do it i had christmas decorations up here they're all gone same over there took all of them down i had stuff up here on the wall but yeah oh this is our wedding our wedding stuff our wedding photos um, this is funny because that is just a record that just came with the frame and this came with the frame and if you know us really well we're really into keys like me and Devin have a theme we always have a connection with keys and then I bought this before we had moved this was when we were at our apartment and then I got this I believe I got this at home goods it lights up you just have to turn on the switch on the back yeah all clean no more decorations This is called We. I believe this is called Way. Way? Way. Way hair care. It looks weird. I know. It doesn't look like how it, you would pronounce it. But I've heard lots of good things about this brand for a while. And this is a free sample. This is a hair mask. So I'm going to try that today and see how it works in my hair. I just got off yeah. the phone with the Shoe Dazzle. And I've been having a love-hate relationship with them for like a couple of years. So I signed up initially 2015 and then I canceled it before. And then I signed back on to see if I would, you know, get some perks. I did buy a few more things from them. But then I started to realize I skip every month. I don't want to be billed because if you don't skip the month, you get billed $39. I'm like, hell no. So I've been skipping. And then I told the guy, I told the guy um just cancel my membership and then he was like oh it seems that you've been skipping blah 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 and i'm like well duh what the fuck and then he's like um i can give you um a ten dollar credit blah, blah blah and i'm like no because that's how they got me one time they got me one time with the ten dollar credit and they didn't cancel my membership so then i'm like 
did you not hear me the first two times you asked me? Because he asked me twice. And I know there's always a rule in retail. Like, to me, it's two no's, not three. So when you heard me say no already, it's like, just leave it alone. So I said, nope, just cancel my membership. He kept talking, and I talked over him, and I did not care this time. I said, nope, just cancel my membership. Just cancel it. Thank you. Have a great day. And he did. He canceled it, got the email. Awesome. Just no. So I'm about to come out these curls and just let them kind of air dry for a bit. Not sure what the rest of my day is going to be like, so we'll see. But, you know, I always try to be nice and with customer service with people who work in retail. Because, again, I worked in seven years of retail. And I hated every moment of it. I hated it. I hated it. I worked. I worked. My first retail job was Smart and Final. I was a cashier there for nine months. Quit um then that because this was like my first year this was like when I was my first semester in college and then the following year I quit no I quit like that April or May I think whatever anyway and then I what happened so then I got the tutoring job I was a tutor for two years which was cool I was making good money at that time that was good money um and then after the tutoring job I left that and then what did, where did I go after tutoring? I think I took some time off to just focus on school because I was taking a lot of full-time uh, student courses. So I think for the rest of that year, I just focused on school because I was still living with my mom. And then through 2009 is when I got a job at Anchor Blue. And I'll tell you, I was the laziest associate ever. Like, Steph, if you're out there watching this, I was the most laziest person ever at that place but the reason why I loved being there is because of you you're an amazing manager amazing person and anchor blue for life like that company's been through some ups and downs if anybody you know shop there a lot or work there you know anchor blue was the place to go to for everything so Steph I don't know how you put up with me I was so lazy I never wanted to do anything um what else I went I worked at anchor blue and then I worked at pay less no before that actually because anchor blue went out of business in 2010 or 2011 somewhere around there and then i worked for what did i work for i have so many jobs it's ridiculous i worked at anchor blue i worked at icing for like five minutes <laughs> that didn't work i worked at payless there was some oh i worked for sears portrait studio i started off as just an associate then moved up to manager quick because the person that was trying to be manager <laughs> we're not gonna go there i took her job because she wasn't shit and then um i remember that i remember working for um pair one for seasonal which i thought i was gonna be hired on because i was told like i was gonna be part-time but i got played um then i worked for payless after that and then i moved to south dakota worked for yonkers shoe department i was in between the shoe department and the beauty like i was i worked for shoes for a while then transferred to beauty and became a manager but then went back to shoes and then when i came back to california um i worked for um freaking red robin for like five minutes a month and then i finally got a real job job for myself which was bare minerals but then the company was cutting back hours and once they cut back hours i was like okay i can't pay my rent so i had to find a full-time job with decent hours worked for golden one for two years as a teller that was my foot in the door for banking and then after Golden One, now I'm at Travis. I was at FSR for one year, and then now I am in member service administration. So customer service or any type of retail will help you if you're trying to get into like finance or like working in that type of field. But to me, get into clerical work if you can. If you can't work with people like me, because I cannot do it face to face i cannot it was so hard you have to fake it till you make it so that in order for you to make it you have to get up there and that's how i feel now i'm like oh i faked it till i make it i made it and now i'm here i'm finally where i want to be in an office in a corporate office no face to face the only time that i may talk to someone is over the phone but most of the time i'm dealing with just the employees and then here and there some you know members but I've come a long way from the days of being in the store to crazy ass hours to working retail on holiday, not having any time 
excuse me to spend with family nothing like it was so terrible i hated it so much so i'm just glad where i'm at now i'm just glad where i am at at this moment because without that dedication actually pushing myself to do better you know i wouldn't be here i'd probably still be in that hole you know without me leveling up i wouldn't have a house or a car you know so with that with that i always tell people if you're in retail and you're trying to work your way up or just trying to get out of it get into the clerical field get into a banking field just work your way up quicker with that i just feel like retail is just an ongoing thing you're gonna, just gonna be stuck in this circle and you're never going to get out you just you're, you're not going to get out i just i just hate to see people stuck in that atmosphere because i've been there for seven years straight and i was tired of it i was sick of it and i was just like i just need a money through friday job i need my weekends that was just something i said to myself so i know i totally went off into a tangent but i try my best to always be nice to people that work in customer service or in a retail store i try my best to be super nice you know but then i've had some moments where like you kind of have to check people because the attitude really shows and i'm like well then don't work here you know um but i remember one time like recently i went somewhere and i was like oh yeah i worked in retail for seven years and they were like oh would you like a job here and i was like nope i'm happy where i'm at i work in banking the hours are amazing no no thank you so just saying that not saying that if you work in retail you're you're less than me that's not what i think i just could never go back never unless i ever hit rock bottom i would but i just can't go back just moving on yep 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 i don't know what your guys's plans are for new year's but i know i'm gonna be home in my bed i'll probably be asleep <sighs> that was not planned um well i'm pretty good at actually staying up until midnight which is crazy because y'all know well i guess when it's a work day i'll be out like a light by 9 30 well that actually is a work day so new year's eve i do have to work a full shift and then i'll probably come home and take a nap this is what's probably gonna happen i'll probably come home take a shower nap wake up probably around like seven or eight that will jack up my sleep i already know that and then probably watch the countdown don't know might have a drink or two i don't know we'll see whatever um but yeah usually on new year's day i don't really do anything like i know some people are into doing stuff on new year's day but i i don't do anything special so i don't know what your guys's plans are but i'm gonna be home um so i really want to surprise people next year like i really want to do things without asking people to do it with me because again i'm very like honest now i don't really have friends you know i have a select few of people that are my friends but i don't i don't want to be like hey who wants to do this and that with me and it's like no i don't have time to be on other people's time i'm gonna be on alina's time so that means going forth i'm gonna do a lot of shit by myself don't care anymore i don't have time to wait around for people and not have as a good time because other people want to do it their way so i plan to do a lot of things by myself if people don't come to me in an orderly fashion if we make plans then i'm doing it by myself so again yeah i don't have friends the only closest friend that i do have she lives in la but hey if we did live next to each other or live close in the same town you bet your bottom dollar we would drag each other around doing whatever we wanted to do together so if she wanted to go to an event i would go with her if i wanted to go travel somewhere she would go with me so i'm just i'm gonna do more of things that i want to do I, i've been planning things as far as what i want to do with tattoos and piercings and stuff like that like i'm just tired of like thinking about it when i should just go and do you know so i'm gonna push myself more to think outside the box to be more accepting to be more consistent i think consistency is gonna be the word of 2019 2019 people are just gonna say the word consistent i'm warning you right now that's gonna be the word i'm gonna speak everything into existence and i'm gonna become more patient i've always been patient but i'm gonna be more patient in the next year i'm just pushing myself to do better 
and seeing where I can go with my career in banking. So I want to see where I can go in the future and just roll with the punches, you know. So I feel like I'm going to do more, get things done more and stop hesitating so much because that's what I do. I hesitate. And then I always think, how come I didn't do that? So, like I said, if I don't have nobody to rock with me to do something, I can do it by my damn self. And I don't have a problem with that. And I don't care if half of you are saying, well, that's not safe. I don't care what you think. I'm going to go and do shit by myself. I don't need anybody to do a lot of stuff with. Including, mom, sorry, but I'm telling you, I don't always have to drag you along to things too. So, I'm going to do things on my own sometimes. And that's just, that's fine with me. I don't care. And people think it's weird, but I don't care what you think. So from here on out, if I do something to offend anybody out there, I don't care. That's it. End of story.